what is up guys brad back on the channel with the early start i've had to do it in a long time so you can't even see me right now but um reading versus Huddersfield town at the uh the majeski stadium stadium i've never been to um that's where we're at today out of form reading you know more than in form at the minute town obviously a little blip against swansea bottle in it but hopefully we can get back to some some positive kind of football today without bottling it after going behind um, it might actually be a big ask for town but we're going into it quite positive and um, quite open-minded um, especially with, with it being a long trip you never like going all the way down to the likes of Wales, Bristol or Reading thinking you're going to lose um, which obviously has been the case previously but we are in a good little speck of form right now so we've got faith in the boys to to at least maybe come away with a point today and I think on paper, I might I may, maybe even be a little disappointed with the point, but looking in the long term scheme of things, it might actually be a be a good result. Um, especially since we usually lose against teams that are doing bad down at the bottom end. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what um, what both teams have got in store for us. Anyway, guys, um, one thing before I go um, and, and make my way to, to the ground, if we could get four K subs by February, that would be massive. Um, that is what we're trying to hit. We're on 3.92 at the minute. So if we could go ahead and smash that goal, that would be massive and um, I'd be so grateful. Best thank you as always. Stay safe, safe journeys up the town. I'll see you in a bit. I know there's still 13 to go, but are Reading fans still social distancing? Like, seriously. Alright, Luke, we get it. But, no, seriously, like, the attendance is shocking. I don't know, is it due to the owners? Is it due to the deduction? Who knows? Um, decent following from us, obviously, maybe a bit hypocritical. Not the best, but a decent one, but nevertheless, for a four hour journey. Um, a, lot of, a lot of town fans expect to win today. I'd like to. Obviously, say the same. I, I do expect to win, but in this league, you never know. With this team, you never know. Up the town, up it's a good game. Hopefully, we can get three points. Good job.
This is what we say. guys it's half time now at Reading um, I've got a feeling this could go very badly second half Reading are on the front foot now they're at the front foot the front foot um, it's been great to score three uh, but we have conceded three as well I think it's a big problem it, it shows good things and it also shows bad things maybe I've been a bit a bit harsh a bit negative but I, I don't know we look we don't look the best at the back um, the first two goals were just, were just, you know, it was one pass through and it was finished. It was very simple, clear cut. Um, the third goal, it looked like a header and a flick on from where I was. Uh, we've been very clinical with the chances we've had, but I'd probably say we've had a couple more than Reading, and we probably should have taken a couple more. Uh, but you, I know you can't ask for more offensively really than, than three goals and a half. Um, we just have to wait and see. But Reading look good now. Um, we need to come out attacking and not do that thing where we sit behind the ball, don't change to a five pack, whatever you do, Carlos, and um, maybe keep it to his, bring on some fresh legs in 10, 15 minutes, and um, keep going at them um, and just, you know, yeah, keep going town. Uh, get another goal, who knows, we might see this one out, we might, well, they're going to go for 4 4, but this has been a brilliant game so far. 
uh, for both teams. But uh, we really need to, um, we want to get anything out of this game, we really need to um, organise ourselves defensively and make sure we don't concede uh, again. And um, if we do, we need to get back into it straight away. Anyway, on to the second half. Size is Reading's atmosphere. Miles better than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, maybe you know, maybe it's just a game. You know, don't disrespect them, um, but they've, they've shot me better. The better atmosphere than some of the you know, bigger clubs in the league, like Blackburn and Forest. But what a game we're seeing! Ten to go. Time free kick. Another yellow dish out for a Reading player. If we can see this out like this seems. Rose is coming on. Rose is coming on. speechless after that game really 4-3 to win away it's massive it's huge for us it, it really tees up perfectly for, for Stoke on Friday I think the things that need saying is that fair play to Reading you know they're a team really not at it at the minute and I'm not even going to lie they were on it you know they were on it and they'll feel disheartened by that and I can, I can understand I can understand the hurt but at the end of the day I think one team were going to win that game 
we were just that bit more clinical with our chances. Best to look ready. Created a good atmosphere as well. Um, honestly, all I can say, up the town. And um, we go again. Um, we'll see where we're at on Friday. Right, yeah, fellas? Absolutely crazy. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks. All the best. Uh, Safe trip home, everyone uh, from the game. And um, yeah, I, I, I've got to go. I can't talk. Cheers, guys.